So let's have a look on how to turn a dictionary into insert SQL statements. And since this took me hours to figure out and many brain cells, I'll spare you the effort and you can just copy from me. So I created two dictionaries. And if you do that, make sure that all your values are stored in a list. Otherwise you can't iterate over them. And also I have a dictionary or a list with all my dictionaries in there and another list with the names of the dictionaries. And we are going to need that for our queries as well. Also make sure that you import number from numbers. You will see later why this is important. So let's set up our first loop that goes over each dictionary in our list of dictionaries. And for demonstration, I will just use the first one and add the second one later. So we'll go for count. Now, element in numerate dicts. And what we have to do here is we have to turn our dictionary into a list of tuples so we can iterate over them and get all our values out. So I'll just type tuples list element items. And we can also print this real quick to see what we got. And here you can see we have our list with all the key value pairs stored as tuples. Okay, now we want to take each tuple one by one and take the values that we need out of it. In order to do that, we first need a loop that keeps track of the positions of the value we want to use. So we'll set up a loop for x in range and the range has to be as long as the length of our values. So we take zero and one and we'll just print X, let that run. So what we got here is we went into, so for our length, we take zero is our first tuple. We could also take the second or third, but we will take um, the first one in case we just have one in it. And then we take the list on the position one, which will be our values. And as you can see, it's zero, one, two, that is three. And we got one, two, three in here. Second, we need a loop that takes each value out and adds it to a query. So first of all, we'll set up the query itself and we'll use an F string for that. Ooh, there it is. And we will type insert into and then take the name of our dictionary. So that's why we need that list as well. Dig names at the position count. So the count comes from here. And then we'll add values and we open our parentheses. Ah, just open it. There we go. Ah, this is not at the right position. There we go. Okay. And now we iterate over each tuple and put the value into our query string. So we'll need another loop. And then we take query plus equal and we'll use an F string again. Just take out element. So one is our values. And then we take that one at position X. We'll close it, add our comma, and that's it. So now at the end of that, we will just print our query and see how that looks like. Ah, we missed an E here. Let's do it again. And there we go. So now we have our insert into person values, Chris 180 true. So let's take out all our other print statements here or just that one. And as we can see, we're still missing our closing parentheses and our semicolon. So we have to check if we are at the end of our 
query before. So we'll just use an if statement that asks if i equals len tuples minus one. And if that's the case, we're at the end of our query. So we'll put in else here. I'll just copy this down. So when it's the end, we use, lose that comma, parentheses, semicolon, and now we'll use, mm -hmm. okay, let's do that real quick. Let's try again. And as you can see, closing parentheses and semicolon. The last thing we have to check is since our strings here don't have quotations, so we also have to ask what the data type of our value is. So I'll just check here with another if statement is in instance element one and x number. So this is when we need our number. So from here, put that in. So if it's a number, we'll stay with that. And if it is not a number, we have to change it up a little bit. So we'll just take this down because we have to check if it's the end again anyway. And we're just going to add single quotations at the end. Let's print this. And there we go. Now we have our completed insert into queries, person values, this is parentheses, this doesn't, and this has parentheses again. So we could use this as it is by just copying this, but let's make it a little bit nicer. And so we can put that into a TXT file. Uh, first one I have to do, we have to collect all the queries into a list. Uh, that one, and instead of the print statement, we'll just type queries.append query. And just to check what we did, print this out. We'll just lose that one real quick. And now we have our list with the queries in it. So in order to get a TXT file, we'll just go with open R and we'll type this queries say two because I already got one. Let's take the second one. Write mode as FP and then we'll iterate over it in queries and put it into the file. Um, Let's let it run. And there it has our queries to TXT without our queries in there. So now we'll just add the second one as well. And this should work without any problem. Let's run it again. Let's have a look into queries. Update that. Why is it not in there? Ah, so we have to indent that one as well. If you figured out the indentation correctly, uh, we get the right result. So from here, as you can see, we got all our insert into queries here. I hope this helped. See you next time.